Good afternoon. Just about a week ago, um, I did a video on how to highlight activities that are behind the baseline in a Microsoft project schedule. Um, one of my subscribers reached out to me and asked if I could do something similar for Primavera P6. So here we are. So today I'm going to show you one way of highlighting finished variants. That's activities that are behind their finish, their baseline finish dates in a, on a Primavera Gantt chart. So if we, assuming we have this shadow, it's baseline, it's this um, extra release. Two is one of the shadows that come with Primavera. I'm using P6 release 18. So you can see on this Gantt chart, um, I've got the layout on this layout, I've got activity ID, name, percent complete, activity duration, actual duration, remaining duration, start and finish dates, baseline start and finish dates, the, the, the finish date variants, and then the calendar. And uh, this is my Gantt chart. So the Gantt chart, we've got the blue bar for actual, and then the red, well, the red bar is a critical part critical activities and the yellow bar in the second row is the baseline bar. If I go to the bar, you see actual work, remaining work, critical remaining, milestone, summary and baseline, which has the yellow. So this Gantt actually shows you that this activity is behind schedule, this is behind finished behavior finish behind this finish behind this is going to finish behind shadow but aside from that don't have any other information you could say um, add add a variance information to say let's do to the baseline or to the actual to the yeah let's do it on baseline you could say you add to the right of it, you look for variance, project baseline, project finish date. If you apply, it just shows you minus 10, shows you for how much it's late. Yeah, but you could, uh, you could just this up a little bit, and I think that's what we're going to do. So if I cancel this, okay, let me, just, let me delete that for now. So what I'm going to do is um, create two user-defined fields. So the plan is to draw to draw a bar from the baseline finish date to the actual finish or, or forecast finish date. So if we go come up with two user-defined fields, and the reason for using user-defined fields is so that we can use the user start and user finish dates to draw the bars. So if I come to user defined fields, um, let me add two new, let me add. So the first one I'll call it, um, let me go for one behind. I'm using numbers before it so that it appears at the top of the, of the dialog behind start date and I'll change the data type to start date so if I say behind I'm using behind to show that it's behind uh, shadow behind finished it I'll change this to finish date. And then the label, if you if you if you remember the label we added only showed minus 10D. I wanted to say something like late, you know, to show that it's behind to put a bit of context to it. So if I add a third one, I'll scroll it um three behind bar text. Okay. And I'll leave it as text. 
So maybe I did this to behind, but I've finished it. Make this um, behind, but start it. Actually, because this is B, I don't have anything else before this. I can take out these numbers and it's still up here at the top. Yep. Okay. So I've defined my, I've got my user defined fields. So if I close this, I want to add those fields to the layout. So if I go layout, user defined fields, yep. They're here, so if I do, so after baseline, yeah, I do behind bar start, behind bar finish. I don't need to add the text. Oh, uh, yeah, I can add it, not a problem. Apply. Maybe format a little bit. So if I check the start to finish date, it's 80, the width. So if I do 80, eighty, and this one should be, let's say, 120. Um, do 100, sorry. Save this layout. Now, these fields are empty because they are, since they are user defined, we need to find a way to add um, text to it. So, and to do that, we need global change. Um, in P6, activities that are behind schedule, so you've got where you have a finish finish date variance is less than zero it shows that it's behind like these milestones are behind this is behind these activities this these two activities are behind and all these are behind so we need a global change to populate this udf this user defined fields unlike microsoft project where it, it, you can put a formula in it auto um, fields the custom fields in p6 you have to always run a global change and that's because the global change is quite powerful so you need to you need to be in control so if i can click on new and i'll name this um, the last one is five so i'll say zero six behind shadow Dates. So remember, I said it will. For activities that are behind schedule have um, finish date variance of less than less than zero. So if we look for, oh, I'm not sure. Let me expand this so that I can see what I'm doing. So finish date variance is less than. zero that's a condition that's the if statement if the finish date variance is less than zero then you want it to do something and what we want it to do is we look for the user defined field we start with the behind bar start date we want it to be equal to so what i'm trying to do is the start date of this bar should be the end date of the baseline date. So we so it should be equal to the baseline finish date. And for the behind bar finish date, it should be the finish date, the actual finish or the current focus finish date of an activity. So we go for finish which you, if it's activity is completed it will present actual date actual finish if it's not completed it will present the focus finish date now sorry two activities 
and for the yeah and finally add another this time for the behind bar label which is behind bar text and what we want is the variance which we showed the last time variance finish date where is it yep variance finish date and i want to, like i said i want to jazz it up so i'll say concatenate and just add a just add a text to it so i have to choose i'm not interested in any of this so i'll say add a text so i'll do underscore lit So that if I don't put the underscore, it wouldn't accept um, a space. So, but I need it. I need to space out the text from the duration. So now that's our global change. We we run it, and when prompted, yeah, do you wish to proceed? I'll say yes. Yeah, and this is the result. All the empty fields, the use the, the new the user defined fields, they now have values. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I commit changes. Um I don't want to save the log. Say no. Click OK. Close. You see our user and defined fields are now populated. So we need to find a way. To, we just need to format the bar so that these informations uh, information appear here. So if I go to the bar, now add a new, add a new row. I can call it behind bar. It sounds criminal. Yeah, that's okay. Behind bar, and I'm going to change the time scale should be user dates. And for these dates, I'm going to choose my behind bar start date and my behind bar finish date. So. Okay, now for the bar style, um, let's see. The shape I want, I'll go for, let's see which shape to go for. Yeah, I'll go for this shape. I don't know what it's called. Um, color, go for a different color. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, which color should I go for? I'll go for purple pattern. Yeah, I want it filled row. I want it on the same row as the baseline because the variance is against the baseline. So two, four, for the middle part of it, I'll go for, yep, let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, this is fine. Color purple again. I look for the opposite one for the finish. Yep, purple. And I feel it. So let me apply it and see if it works. Yeah. As you can see, so it's shown, so it's shown you the various from the baseline, so you know. So now, for the label, add the label to the right, and I say, I'll go for my behind bar text. Yeah, apply to see if it works. So it shows you 10 days late, so it shows minus 10 days late. So click OK. So you can hide all these. So a use case for this would be like when you're doing your look ahead, you know, like um, interactive planning schedule and schedule interactive schedule review sessions or look at weekly your weekly or bi-weekly 
look ahead schedule review so like your 14 day 30 day or 90 day schedule and look ahead review you can just to emphasize draw attention to activities that are late and by how much so i mean you can also hide this variance field so it's so this is very visible to to read us if you schedule that um that these are to show activities that are late and the same vein if you want to show activities that are ahead of schedule but i don't know i, I don't normally like drawing attention to activities that are ahead of schedule the focus for me is um, activities that are behind schedule so that you can you can intervene and fix them yeah but that was just a quick one way of highlight drawing attention to activities that are behind schedule in, in, in primavera p6 there are so many other ways you can you can also go about this thank you for watching and see you next time mm -hmm.